To calculate mean, what we do is we add up all the numbers and divide them by the amount of numbers. Now, this is shown as a table for this. Now, this 5 here means that there are 5 4s. So a different way of writing this is just 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay, there's 5 4s. Now, we could type in into our calculator 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or what we can do is just 4 times 5, and that will equally give us the total of those 4s. Now, when we type that into the calculator, we get 20. And we create this kind of fx column, and I always call this column the x. And let's have a go at the next one. So this 10 here means there's 10 fives. So if we were to add them all up, we would get 50. This 5 here means there's 5 sixes. So if we were to add up those 5 sixes, we would get 30. And similarly, we're just going to times 7 and 8 together because it gives us the answer we want and 8 times the 2. Now, this 20 here is how many 4s we have, like if we added up all the 4s. This is if we added up all the 5s. So what we need to do is add up all of these, which I call the sum of fx. So I'm going to get my calculator out. 20 plus 50 plus 30 plus 56 plus 16, which is 172. Now, that's equivalent to if we had a long list of numbers and we just added them all up. But how many numbers do we have? Well, if we have 5 4s, 10 5s, 5 6s, 8 7s, and 8 8s, how many do we have all together? Now, I call this the sum of the frequencies. And we're going to do 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 8 plus 2, which is 30. So we have 30 all together. Now, the mean is if you add them all up and divide them by the amount of numbers. If we add them all up, which we did, we get 172, and we have 30 numbers. So it's going to be 172 on the calculator divided by 30, which is going to give us 5.73 recurring, and to two decimal places, that's 5.73. So the first thing to do uh, for this question is multiply these two together down the table. Then you need to add those up and add these up and divide the fx column by the sum of the frequencies. And you get the answer for this question, 5.73.